Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I am going to talk about the JDBC introduction. What is JDBC actually and there are common components of the JDBC. So I will cover those things. So let's go through the slide. So JDBC stands for Java Database Connectivity. So here you will learn how to connect your Java application with any RDBMS or database. For to perform a different CRUD operation. Uh, the Java JDBC API enables Java applications to connect to a relational databases via a standard API. So your Java application become indep independent of database the application uses. Right? So in this picture you can see you have a Java application uh, which uses JDBC API and here is another side you have a database or RDBMS so how your java application is going to interact with jdbc uh, how your java application is going to interact with RD, rdbms using jdbc api that we will learn in this video tutorial or basically we'll see some theoretical concept in next series of video we'll see some practical example as well so next thing java application uses jdbc to connect to a database jdbc standardizes how to connect to a database how to execute queries against it how to navigate the result of such a query and how to execute updates in the database jdbc does not standardize the sql to send to the database this may still vary from the database to database okay so the sql query you write in the mysql that might vary how you write in the oracle or some other database so uh, SQL may vary the but the way we used to connect from one database to another database would be very much similar now JDBC overview so next we are going to look uh, into three things like first core JDBC components then common JDBC use cases and finally we'll look into a JDBC component interaction diagram so let's start with the JDBC API so JDBC API consists of following core parts so first we have a JDBC drivers then uh, JDBC connection then we have a JDBC statements and uh, JDBC result sets uh, there are four basic JDBC use cases around which most JDBC work e e evolves like uh, query the database query the data database means reading the data from the database uh, next use case we have a query the database for metadata now next data uh, update the database and finally we'll see how to performing transaction now let's start with the JDBC core components first JDBC driver uh, a JDBC driver is a collection of Java classes that enables you to connect to a certain database for instance MySQL will have its own JDBC driver a uh, JDBC driver implements a lot of JDBC interfaces uh, when you co when your code uh, uses a JDBC driver it actually just uses the standard JDBC interfaces the concrete JDBC driver used is hidden behind the JDBC interfaces thus you can plug plug in a new JDBC driver without your code noticing it uh, of course the jdbc driver may vary a little in feature they support right so basically you jdbc api basically provides you only interfaces right and uh, if you have only interfaces and you don't have its implementer then there is no use of that so uh, jdbc provides you a interfaces or api or implementer of these interfaces or api is provided by the rdbms or database vendor so that's why if you use mysql then you get the one jar file from the mysql database if you use another database like oracle or db2 or some other database then every database provides you a jar which you need to include in your class path and that holds the implementer of this api next thing we are going to discuss about the connection right so once jdbc driver is loaded and initialized you need to connect to the database uh, you do show by obtaining a connection to the database via the JDBC API 
and the loaded driver. All communication with the database happens via the connection. An application can have more than one connection open to a database at a time. This is actually very common when you use web-based application. Now next component we are going to discuss that is JDBC statement. Uh, a statement is you use to execute queries and updates against the database. There are few different types of statements which you can use in JDBC. So basically there are three types of we have a statement so those things we will discuss in the future session. Now next thing we would like to brief about the uh, uh, result set. When you perform a query against the database, you get back a uh, result set. So basically if you have a select query and you execute that query, the database returns you result set. You can then traverse this result set to read uh, the result of the query. Now common JDBC use cases we'll discuss. So first common use case is query the database. One of the most common use cases is to read data from the database. Uh, reading data from a database is called querying the databases right now next use case query the database uh, for its metadata another common use case is to query the database metadata the database metadata contains information about the database itself for instance information about the table tables defined the columns in the each table uh, the data types of the column etc now third use case we have update the database another very common jdbc use case is to update the database updating the database means writing data to it uh, in other words adding new records or modifying or updating existing records fourth use case we, we can perform a transaction in jdbc right so transaction is another common use case a transaction groups multiple updates and possibly queries into a single action either all of the actions are executed or none of them are so that's that is the transaction basically now finally we are going to explore a jdbc component interaction diagram so here an example of how the core components interact uh, in during the execution of the database query right so here you can see uh, here is your java application and java application basically uses jdbc interfaces to load the driver jdbc driver now once you load the jdbc driver then you can you can ask the ask the jdbc driver to open a connections so this will so you, you are asking to the jdbc driver to open a connection so this will return you a connection right connection object now uh, now and connection object always you need to ask to the JDBC API to uh, 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 to get a connection uh, by using the JDBC driver. So you get the uh, so JDBC driver will return your JDBC connection and this connection your application is using to create a statement, right? So using again JDBC interface you create a statement uh, by calling by connecting to uh, by using the connection right so connection will return you a statement now you can use that statement to execute a state execute a statement means just you can execute the query so either you are interested to some update some doing some operation on the database side or uh, to perform some select select operation right so executing a statement may, re may return you the result set result uh, return result set cursor or you can say that returns you the result set now you can traverse the result sets result set is nothing but it points to the that's a cursor right that will point to the record and you can traverse the record traverse the uh, result set and you can iterate different uh, records right or if while executing the statement you might be interested to update some thing on the database side so that may be insert or update or delete operation so this is the uh, one of the beautiful diagram I found uh, which so which shown you how J different JDBC con uh, components interact with each other. So that's all I have in this video tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial.